What's up, Be The Church? Peeper McDonald here, and I am so excited to introduce to you a new resource that I think is going to just change your life. But before I do that, I wanna share with you a little bit about the why behind the what. So here at Be The Church, we believe that it is our mission to equip and empower God's people to go out into the world and be the church wherever they go. So we may go to a building on Sundays, for example, that we call a church, but really what the Bible says is that that is just a building, that us as his people are his true church. And so it's important for us to, again, be equipped and empowered with his word, with resources, with knowledge, uh, with all the good things that he gives us to go out into the world and make a difference. And so again, that's what we're doing here. And so if that's new to you, if you've never heard that or you wanna learn more, feel free to go to our website at bethechurch.info, sign up for our free mailing list. We are pumping out a lot of content, a lot of amazing resources just for you to help you do just that, which is be the church wherever you go. So also if it's if you think, hey, um, I have some content to contribute, um, hit us up we want to know because at the end of the day i i may know some things you know some things i may be an expert in some things you may be an expert in some things but what we believe is truly god's heart is for us to come together like the book of acts and share resources and so it's truly beautiful when we come together and we share um, all that we have with each other. And so that's what we're doing. So hit us up, let us know if you have some content, some things that you wanna share, let us know, because we are all about that at Be The Church. So with that, I'm so excited to talk to you um, quickly about an intro before I introduce our next guest with her amazing resource. So some of you may or may not know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And that is near and dear to my heart because I am a counselor educator at Mercer University and I'm a licensed professional counselor in the state of Georgia. And so mental health is so important, but I think a lot of times as Christians, we don't talk enough about it. Um, so I'm gonna get back to that in a second. But before I do that, let me tell you about this guest. So I've known her um, since I've started working at Mercer, it's one of my favorite parts of my job is I get to meet amazing people. She and I have presented at multiple counseling conferences together. I've invited her to guest lecture in numerous of my classes, and uh, we're even wrapping up a research study together. So she's pretty fantastic. Um, and with that, um, her latest project is a podcast that she created called The Victorious Counselor, uh, where she talks about where the, the intersectionality of Christian spirituality meets mental health. Um, and so I am so excited about it, and I think it's gonna be an amazing resource for you. So with that, in celebration of mental health awareness, I want to welcome Victoria Glover. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Dr. McDonald. Thank you so much. That was such a sweet intro. <laughs> that was touching. Well, I do think you're amazing. So tell us um, a little bit more. You know, I, I shared my experience with you, but what else? I know you're out in the community. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing because you're doing so much. Sure. Yeah. And I so for people who are watching or listening, I'm also a professional counselor in the state of Georgia. I'm associately licensed, which means I'm within that first three years post graduating with my master's. So I have exactly a year left now before I can apply to be fully licensed, Yay. Uh, which is like crazy. That happens so fast. Mm -hmm. um, but I currently work um, for a community mental health organization in the metro Atlanta area. I work as a school-based therapist and I'm also doing some private practice work part-time um, at a practice called Worth Wisdom Wellness in Atlanta, Georgia. So that, that that's my, I guess, my technical job. Um, but I, I consider myself to be more than that, you know, definitely uh, first and foremost a believer. Um, definitely think that my faith and my identity as um, someone who believes in Jesus is the most salient part of who I am. Um, as you mentioned, I'm a new podcaster. I love it. <laughs> um, and I, yeah, the podcast takes up a lot of like my free time. This is what I do on the side for fun type thing right now. Um, 
but yeah, that that's a, a brief intro to me and what I'm doing currently. That's great. No, that's perfect. Um, and I have listened to the podcast um, and I love it. I just, you know, already I think you're amazing. And so listening to you is so easy. And um, yeah, I just, I am super excited about it um, and where it's going to go. And so, yeah, tell us a little bit more about your podcast. And I guess, number one, where did you get the inspiration for it? Sure. I think so just about a year ago, I think when I, I originally got the idea, I think that God was pushing me this direction um, and I was a little scared, like, no, I don't really want to do that. Um, but the podcast is really, I think, a platform that merges all of my passions. Um, I'm, I'm passionate, of course, about mental health. I'm passionate about my faith. And I think it's really interesting. And I've kind of thought this for the majority of my adult life, at least, that it's really interesting to see how our society kind of paints Christianity and mental health and science and, and that those two worlds can't combine. Um, yes, yeah. And that it is either one or the other. You know, if you believe in God or if you go to church, then you don't really need all that science stuff or you don't need therapy. You just need to pray about it and go to church and then you'll be fine. Um, and I think that that is just so backwards um, from what I have found in my experience and just what from what I read in the Bible. You know, I think that there are certain directions and certain certain texts where it seems like science and scripture are going hand in hand. You know, like there are definitely moments where I feel like science really just tries to explain what the Bible has already said. And it's just a matter of getting that out there, getting the world to know that and, and, and talking more about it. And also empowering the church to know that too, because I think that there's a lot of bondage and a lot of lies that the enemy uses to hold people down, to keep, hold people back, keep people down. Um, and I think that that first barrier, like, you know, stopping people from seeking help is one of them because that belief of, okay, I don't need to go see this therapist person. They're, they're not gonna be helpful to me. Yeah, so I totally agree about that, that it's just awareness is so so needed in the, the church world um, because like what you alluded to, there's a lot of stigma about uh, mental health when really I think that's why our profession, the counseling profession is so needed because people don't know that we are a profession of wellness, of strengths. We really sure. focus on strengths. We don't, um, again, not, not to say that you, um, yeah, like you can't go see, um, and you talk, you talk about this in your podcast, which again, I don't want to, I don't want to say the things that you say in your podcast, cause you say it so much better and eloquently than, than I would say it. But, um, yeah, I don't think people know, and it's important for us to advocate for our profession, um, because they don't know that we even have a pillar of prevention. And so literally there there does not need to be anything quote unquote wrong with you to go see a counselor because it's all about growth and all of us can sure. grow in some form or fashion. And so I think you're so right that, that um, which is another reason why I think your podcast is great is because you really um, break things down. You don't get super, super technical, but it's interesting and understandable. Um, and that leads me to my next question, which is, so um, how how do you see this relating to people from all walks of life? Yeah, and I think, you know, to a certain extent, my podcast does cater to specific pockets of people. Like, you know, I don't want to be misleading. It, it typically does. Um, center a lot on women of color who are Christian, you know, people who have that belief or knowledge of mental health initially. But lately, and, and 
future episodes of the podcast are going to have different themes, different topics, you know, so I I personally believe that there will be something for everybody. (laughs) Um, And I remember my coach talking to me about this when I first started, when I first had the idea and we were in the pre-planning phase and she really pushed me to be specific and have a one, you know, an ideal person in mind, which I do. However, I was also very uh, firm with the fact that I wanted it to be appealing to everybody. Mm -hmm. With that being said, talking about being trauma-informed Mm-hmm. talking about signs that you need to see a therapist, talking about the different credentials between therapists, because there's a lot out there. Mm-hmm. Um, th- there are more episodes to come that haven't been released yet. So this is new information, hot off the press, you guys. <laughs> um, but there are going to be other themes and other episodes that will bring in other people from different walks of life. Um, so if you haven't felt or if you've listened already and don't really see yourself aligning with it yet, there are more episodes coming that will in some way or another relate to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. And and I'm of the belief, too, even if um, because, yeah, just having listened to it, I think there's so much substance there that can apply um, to to so many people, to really almost anyone. And so I think because you identify as a person of color, you bring your experience to what you're talking about. And then of course can relate to that um, and relate the content to that. But I think that's so healthy for us to, uh, to think about that. If again, if if that's not us or and you, know, you also mentioned that in general, it, it could speak to um, more women than, than not. But again, and that's your experience. I think that's so valuable for us to hear. No matter. I appreciate yeah. you saying that, Dr. McDonald. I did, and I, as you were speaking, I wanted to clarify, you know, like the series I just finished up, which is three or four episodes that are just on trauma in the brain and biblical mm-hmm. implications. That, that applies to everybody, right? Exactly. I don't know one person walking this earth that hasn't experienced the trauma or doesn't know someone who's experienced the trauma, mm-hmm. right? So that information, which my, my the goal of that series was to really not, on down the weeds and give some very practical information that anybody can use. Like mm-hmm. there's some education that can go a long way and just help change or reframe someone's perspective on what they've lived through. And, you know, if, if it's really something that has caused more of a rift in their life than they realize. Mm-hmm. And I agree. Having listened to, um, to it, I 100% agree. Um, because, yeah, I mean, Again, not to give it away, and really I shouldn't because I wouldn't say it as eloquently as you talk about it in the podcast, but as you do do talk about it in there, it's so important for us to think about others' context and um, where they're coming from, that they're not just, again, broken or um you know, again, uh, something is wrong with them. I think you really talk about that in terms of being trauma-informed. So I think that's amazing. Um, so yeah, I think really, uh, any, my, well, two, one question is logistical, but the other one is before that, where I want to ask you anything else that you want to say about spirituality and mental health? Um, what, yeah, in, in a snippet. Yeah. What do you want to say? What else do you want to say about those two topics? Um, I think I can just reinforce that as a, as a clinician, um, so we all have theories as to how change happens and we all believe you know this is this is how a problem arises it's how a problem can be fixed or healed I don't like that word fixed but this is how it can be corrected so on and so forth and I cannot imagine practicing without that belief that spirituality and mental health are are combined right and that they go hand in hand um, and I'm, I'm explicit about that in, in my practice, in my bio. If you visit my webpage on my private practice um, website, then I do talk about my belief as a Christian therapist mm-hmm. and how that impacts, you know, how I serve my clients. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe that the Holy Spirit truly does the healing. I'm a conduit and I'm helping my client and guiding them along that journey. But at the end of the day, you know, I I brought up another, the verse that I referenced in one of my podcast episodes, um, Psalm 139, 13. This is the KJV version for those of you guys who are King James people. (laughs) Um, And it reads, for thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. 
Um, and I went into, and I, I talk about this in my podcast episodes, but I went into depth when I did some research on what RAINS means. Yeah, I remember. And Ra- right. Yeah, RAINS is literally referring to the kidneys, which mm-hmm. back in biblical times was in an allegorical sense was talking about your heart. Um, and I just think it's so interesting how the Bible clearly articulates that God formed the inner parts of our emotional being. <laughs> it's okay to have these emotions. It's okay to have these feelings. In fact, that's how we were designed, you know? So ignoring that part of you or not tending to that part of you is like, you know, telling God that, no, you didn't do that. <laughs> you know, like, I just love to reinforce that part because it was so powerful for me once I realized and, and read that. So mm-hmm. that's what I would reiterate to anybody who is wanting more information. Yeah, I I 110 percent agree. I think sometimes my experience is that um, the some of the Christian messages we get is um, like, well, and you even said that like, oh, just pray about it, or um, which is kind of minimizing <laughs> a little bit, or um, you know, don't don't focus on those feelings, you know, ch- change. Um, just work on changing your thoughts. And while I think a lot of those can be helpful, if we take those messages to an extreme, it can really invalidate um, the way that God made us to to notice what's going on in our bodies or notice some feelings that are popping up. So we can really attend to them and nourish them. Um, you know, like being mal- nor- malnourished is, mm. is a big problem. <laughs> and so when we that. have those indicators, um, it's important for us to pay attention. And so um, I 100% agree. And so uh, that is, again, why we just, again, want to promote and, and share you, your resource. Again, your podcast is called The Victorious Counselor. Um, you do not have to be a counselor to listen. Um, like I said, uh, Victoria is a counselor. <laughs> so that's why it's called that. And she is um, bringing her experience, um, her skills, um, her thoughtfulness to the table to really unpack the intersectionality be- between mental health and Christian spirituality, which I think is amazing and an important resource uh, that will help us um, be the church wherever we go. So I just want to say thank you, Victoria. And um, before we go, where can people find your podcast and learn more about you and um, and your podcast? Are there sure. places so- you can go? Yeah, my podcast is on all major streaming platforms. So if you are a, an iPhone user, you can just go on the Apple Podcast app and type in the Victoria's Counselor Podcast. It'll pop up. Um, if you have CastBox, the app for Android, you can find it there. It's on Spotify. Um, so those are like the three major ones that typically are on any other podcast app. Um, you should be able to find it there. And you can follow me on Instagram for more information about me. Um, at the Victorious Counselor. Awesome. Well, I just want to say thank you so much again. It is my amazing joy to, again, get to do what I get to do, meet wonderful people like yourself. And um, I know we work together in other capacities, but I just, yeah, I just love it. It's It really is such a joy of mine to see people, to meet them in specific parts of their life, but then to see how they're changing the world. So it's amazing. So I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, and I know we're going to see amazing things. So if you're listening out there, check out uh, the Victorious Counselor podcast. It's amazing. As you can already tell, Victoria is amazing. And um, I think it will really equip and empower you to be the church wherever you go. So thank you again, Victoria. Thank you, Dr. McDonald. This was great.